Hi everyone. Uh, so today we are going to solve a problem from HackerRank. Uh, so it's a, a data structure related problem and it's related to arrays. So in this problem, what we have to do is given an array, uh, we just have to reverse it, right? Uh, so, so for example, this is an integer array, one, two, three. So we just have to return the reverse of this array, okay? So let's just see how we can do this in C sharp, right? So what I'll do is I'll create a method. So I'll say private static. So in this, we have given this uh, structure of the method. So I'll just copy the same structure so that if you are also trying to solve, uh, so I'll we'll call it as reverse array. Uh, it takes in a a list of integers. It's actually not taking in an array of integers, uh, and then it's just returning the the list. Okay, so so we have a simple idea here, right? So given an array, what I'll do is uh, I loop through the elements till the mid of the array, and we'll we'll see basically how we can handle odd and even uh, length in an, in in a in this particular collection, uh, and then we'll keep on swapping the the element from the front and the element from the rear. OK, so we'll just have a for loop. So I'll say I equals to zero. I is a dot. Sorry, because it's, it's a layer, so it's not length. It's it's actually count. So I want to do through a dot count uh, divided by two. OK, and if it's even even number of elements, so if there are, for example, eight elements, so I have to loop till four, uh, but this is less than less than the uh, this this uh, four. So it's basically going to loop through zero uh, in basically three, which is what we want, right? So we, we don't have to actually handle anything from odd and uh, even perspective. So now what we'll do is we'll create a variable. Let's call it as swap equals to a of i. Now in a of a dot, sorry again, count minus one. So this is the last element, but we also have to do minus i because as as we move towards uh, the elements in the uh, list we have to swap uh, from the rear side also we have to move those many uh, points right so we have to minus that that particular i so i'll do this equals to a second mm -hmm. a dot i Oops, sorry, I think I did a mistake here. So this has to be done first. So this A of I becomes A of count minus one I, and then finally I can copy this one. Become the swap element that Okay, so that's all what we have to do, and then I can just do a return. The same list, right? Okay, so let's uh, test this. Let's say reverse array, and then I'll call the dot. So I have to because I have to pass a list. So I'll pass a list. OK, so let's run this. All right, so if we see A here, now 2, 5, 6, 2, 6, it's actually OK. So it's OK, yeah, so where B equals to reverse array, return A. OK, so now. Right, right, right. Let's 
Let's run this now. Let's see what's the. How is B looking? So B is so I'm just comparing the, uh, the let's just compare this array. Uh, from the rear uh, to this list. Right? So it's six, seven, five, six, two, six, five, two. OK, looks amazing. All right, so let's do one more test. Uh, just I'll add. Let's say 32. OK, just to check like uh, odd and even. Yeah, so the last element is two. First element is 32. OK, works, works like a charm. All right, uh, so that's all from this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.